In this lesson I will show you how to design a slide like this, how to subtract portions of images, how to connect them with one item and overall customizations to such a slide. Hello and welcome back in the tutorials where we will design another great slide. As you see I've changed the coloristic because I didn't like the green as much and I'll go ahead and create a new slide. I'll start as usual by deleting everything. I go right click, format background. By having the solid fill selected, I select my color with the eyedropper. I click, I drag to the previous slide and I have the same background color here. This time we'll again work with some pictures, but let me copy the text boxes just so I have something inside of this slide. Maybe for the title here, some text on the bottom and also some text here. This will be my slide layout. Let me move this a bit away and I can work with the pictures. I have some project photos here. I'll copy my mushrooms and also for example my tulips. Now I want to make them a bit smaller so I can start editing them. At first I want to make them perfectly equal. For this I go to format, picture layout and I select the third layout. Now they both are perfectly of the same size. I right click on the smart art, group, ungroup, once again group, ungroup. Now I can take the text boxes, delete them from here and I can work with the photographs. I come closer. At first I want to make them circles. So I select the first one, I go to format, crop, crop to shape, and I select the circle. I do the same for the second one, crop, crop to shape, circle. I also want them the aspect ratio to be a perfect circle, so I go once again to crop, aspect ratio, square. Also here, crop, aspect ratio, square. Perfect, I click on the crop, now I can make them a bit bigger, so they are visible in the slide. By having both pictures selected, I go to format and I'll start to work on the shape outline. What outline do we want? I have some colors here, which are nice looking with this background and working well along. So I'll select one of them. Then I right click, format objects. Oh, I have it already opened. So I select the bucket and in the line options here on the bottom side, I have my width of the outline. You can also select the width here, shape outline weight, but it is limited to 6 point and I would for example want to have 7 or 8 points. So I make it more thick here, 8 points, ok. This looks pretty thick, maybe even a bit too much, but we can adjust this later a little bit. Let me make them bigger. I wanted to have really big pictures here, so they are pretty good visible. Now the magic will come in. I go to insert, shapes. I select a shape like that, a rounded rectangle. I place the rounded rectangle here. I decide for a rectangle, for example, of this size. And I place it equally between the images. PowerPoint is helping me with that. I go to outline, no outline. Now it's perfect. And I copy it two or three times. Okay, this is one copy. Let me maybe make a red color so I see everything. Control C, Control V. Okay. One as a copy and two are inside here. Now watch what magic you can do to adjust those images. I select the first image and the red one by going to the format, merge shapes, subtract. Now I select the right image, select the next rectangle, merge shapes, subtract. We created a totally custom effect by subtracting those objects from these images. This is something you very rarely see used in PowerPoint. Not many people know about this, but I'll try to do something interesting out of it. Let me maybe quickly change the names. I'm right back at you with in a moment. I'll just work on the text boxes a little bit. Okay, I did change the text boxes so they look a little bit better. I once again go to view and open up my guides. So I have a perfect middle here. This phase one should be on the left side like this, phase two on the right side, something like that. And the slide is beginning to look a bit better. Now, I believe the images can be a bit smaller so they don't cover up everything. 
and we can do more adjustments now. If the images would stay here and I would, for example, not have this text, let me get rid of it. I make it here. Now I can take the box. I can change its color, for example, to one of the colors I had previously, like this blue one. I can place it perfectly here. I can resize it. I can pull the handles to make it perfect and watch what a nice effect we did achieve here. Now I could insert shapes. For example, I could use a circle or this heart here. I could make a little heart. Then I would just take shape fill, eyedropper, make the heart the same color as the background as it would be cropped out from the circle. Now I could also make the same color like shape fill, eyedropper and the same color as the outlines. Here no outline. You can do really interesting designs by just subtracting something out of the pictures. Now look how customized does this look. I could move those faces here and I have a completely unique design in my slide. I could for example change things up by going to insert shapes and using a shape like this. I would use this shape. I would copy it a few times to have it for later and I would start to subtract it from the images. First image, second image, format, merge, subtract. First image, object, merge shapes, subtract. Can you notice how good does this look? This is really a unique view. Well, we have a small error here, but that's no problem. We could adjust it. I just wanted to show you what's possible. I'll take the text, text fill, eyedropper, like the background, place the text here. Of course, I would need to bring it forward, bring to front, the text would be here. And we have another completely custom and unique look inside of this slide. Now watch how beautiful does this slide present itself. I should of course adjust the colors. For example, make the shape full like the previous blue to make it more consistent with the first slide. But overall, this is what I wanted to teach you in this slide. You can subtract portions of images. You can make images equal and this will create absolutely amazing slides. For example, by using some gradient. Now it's your turn to open up PowerPoint and recreate this slide on your own.